So you're thinking of moving to Whitby, Ontario? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the top five neighborhoods in Whitby, Ontario, and we're going to make it really exciting for you because, first of all, we're going to hop in my car and I'm going to take you for a ride. I've taken extensive footage of each of these neighborhoods so that you can see them up close and personal. And then I'm going to show you some of the different styles of homes, different price points, so that whether you're looking for a starter home or your forever home, you got a full picture of how far your budget can take you and get a better picture of what it's like to live right here in beautiful Whitby, Ontario. So without further ado, let's get right into it. first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Toronto and the surrounding areas like Whitby, then subscribe below. Also tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Toronto. My name is Rochelle Manguino. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Whitby and the surrounding greater Toronto area. For the last seven years, I've been helping people just like yourselves move to the GTA and I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, I'd love to hear from you. Just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom call down in the description below. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Toronto. So let's get right into this. Let me show you what Whitby is all about. On our top five list that I wanna show you is Taunton North. If you look at a map here, you can see that Taunton North is closer to the north end of town. And just like its neighbors, Pickering, Ajax, and Oshawa, the northern part of the city is primarily rural. But with this neighborhood specifically, Taunton North, it's seen a large increase in population over recent years because of the large number of builders coming into the area and transitioning it from a rural countryside to an urban community. That said, there are quite a number of newer subdivisions being built, newer homes. So let's head on over to the area and see what the neighborhood looks like. Welcome to Taunton North. You may have noticed from the drive through here that the neighborhood has a lot of large detached executive homes, but also a bunch of more modest detached houses and townhomes in the mix too. The average price of a home here is $1.071 million. And this home is actually at that average price point. It sold for $1 million even. It has two plus two bedrooms and five baths. Now, whenever you see a listing that has, you know, plus one bedroom, plus two bedrooms, that means that they're referring to either a den or a bedroom in the basement, for example, because officially in order to call a room a bedroom, it has to have a closet and a window large enough to escape from in case there's a fire. Those are the rules about what constitute a bedroom. And so this house, that's a good example of that because it is a bungalow where on the main floor, you've got the two bedrooms and then the plus two bedrooms, those are actually in the finished basement of this home where because they are below grade level, you don't have the appropriate size windows that you need to actually call it a bedroom officially, but they're still added value because at the end of the day, you still have a total of four bedrooms in the whole house and so that's your fun fact for the day. In order to call a room a bedroom, it's gotta have a window and a closet. Now, this is also what a cool round million dollars can get you in this neck of the woods. But now what I wanna do is just drive up a little further north, um, directly north of us actually, from where I'm at right now, 
just about five minutes away, I wanna take you to the neighborhood of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, in my humble opinion, is one of Whitby's hidden gems. Not too many people have heard of this area, which is good and it's bad. I mean, it's good because it might get overpopulated and it won't be a little secret anymore. You know, how beautiful and relatively affordable it is there but bad because everyone should know about it. It's very underrated and you'll see why when I show you. So that's what I wanna do is let you guys in on this charming little neighborhood in Whitby. It's a number two spot on our top five list. Come hop in the car with me and let me show you Brooklyn. Isn't Brooklyn just beautiful? I love it here. And what's really unique about this neighborhood here is its strong sense of community. Because first of all, that downtown core that we just drove through with all the charming shops and restaurants, that's called Brooklyn Village. And that whole area is designated an Ontario Heritage Conservation District. That means that property owners need a permit to make certain changes to their home, like if they want to extend their front porch or add an addition to their property, they need permission from the city because they want to make sure that homes in the area and the overall look of the community is consistent. So they've done a great job in preserving the historical charm and you really do get a good sense of community with that. Now there are actually tons of events held here throughout the year so right here where I'm standing at is where they actually host the Brooklyn Christmas Festival and the Brooklyn Spring Fair. And then the Brooklyn Farmer's Market, that is a really popular weekly thing that goes on that brings everyone together as well, which is really fun. Now, in terms of housing, I'm gonna show you what your average home here looks like. It is helpful to know that the newer section of Brooklyn, which is east of the downtown core where I'm at now, that has a more modern, flair to it, yet they've somehow managed to blend in that sort of historic feel to the area with the look of the homes that they've just built. So I'm really excited to show you what that looks like. Let's take a hike up the road and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. So here's what I'm talking about. You got a nice mix of new and the old. The homes in this subdivision are relatively newer, around 20 years old, but they've got this Victorian revival style and uh, to the mostly brick and siding exterior with Victorian accents like gingerbread trim that you can see up on the roofs there and gable triangular pitched roofs, which were really the uh, predominant style of that time. So this one behind me, it actually does have that whimsical charm. You've got an inviting front porch and an all siding front exterior. So this one is actually a townhouse. It has three beds, three baths, and recently sold for $744,000. And what's really beneficial about these set of townhouses, unlike a lot of other townhouses in Whitby, is that it isn't a condo townhouse in that you aren't paying condo fees. So normally when you think of a condo, you think of a unit inside a building where you have condo fees that pay for, you know, things like the pool, security, building insurance, etc. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that many townhouses are usually condos as well in that you do have to pay your monthly condo fees to pay for things like 
water, garbage, and whatever shared amenities are part of the complex. So say, for example, the inner street or visitor parking, you know, you're paying for um, the snow to be removed and just to keep the complex, you know, more uniform. So this complex specifically, it doesn't have any condo fees. These townhomes are freehold, which means that you are responsible for all of the upkeep up in your, on your property. So your yard, your lawn, but that does give you more control about, you know, any improvements that you want to make because a lot of times you'll have condos that have rules like, you know, you can't paint your door this color or you can't hang this stuff from your window. But that's not the case with these freeholds. And the nice thing too, is that you also have a lot more control and direction in terms of your budget and where your money actually goes. Now, in terms of budget, if you wanted to stay under the million dollar price point, then I do have a new area for you. The next area or next neighborhood on our top five list is where you're gonna have a lot more options between the $750,000 and million dollar price range. You're also gonna get a good variety in the um, types of homes. And you're also going to see specifically a lot more townhomes because this area that we're going to, those townhomes have been selling like hotcakes, but you are also gonna get a lot of uh, detached homes and semi-detached as well. Again, under a million dollars. So. Come with me, let's hop in my car again, and we're going to head on over to the neighborhood on our top five list, which is Rolling Acres. Welcome to Rolling Acres. Quick breakdown on this lovely little neighborhood. It's actually the smallest neighborhood in Whitby in terms of land size, but what it lacks in size, it makes up for in nearby amenities. Here you're gonna find tons of shopping, like grocery stores, restaurants, even gas stations and big box retailers. <laughs> there are also three schools in the neighborhood, including one Catholic school and two public schools. However, you do want to note that they are all elementary schools offering kindergarten to grade eight, but there are several high schools just outside of the neighborhood that are available to you as well. Now, I mentioned that here in Rolling Acres is where you're going to find a lot more affordable homes that are at a lower price point compared to other neighborhoods in Whitby. The average home here is $1.02 million which is about average for the city of Whitby. But like I said, you can also find a lot of great options under the million dollar mark. A perfect example being this charming house behind me here. Now, this one recently sold for $807,000. It's a detached home, as you can see, with three bedrooms and two baths. The homes in this area are great for growing families because this one here, for example, it does have a finished basement so it gives you extra room for the kids to play or for additional storage if you need it. I mean, we could all use more storage, right? <laughs> and then like a lot of the homes here, you can also see that this house has an extra long driveway where you can park three cars, which is improvement or which is convenient, I mean, for larger families as well. And in terms of location, you're also really close to great schools. So there's a website out there called Area Vibes that ranks schools in Canada based on their student test scores. So here in Rolling Acres, the average test score that they gave was the was 78. Now that's higher than the overall Whitby school scores of 74 and the overall Ontario school score of 67. And that's also 18% higher than the national average 
So you really get a good place here or a good place in Rolling Acres to raise a family. You've got tons of amenities nearby and you really get to benefit from more affordable housing compared to nearby neighborhoods in the area. Now, by the way, guys, if you are getting value out of this video so far, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well, just so that you get all of the insider info that you need to make your move to Whitby or anywhere in the GTA an easy and an informed one. All right, now next stop on our top five list is Williamsburg. It's a great neighborhood for growing families as well because it is a more densely populated community, which means that you're naturally gonna have more kids in the mix, which is nice because if you have kids yourself, then it'll be, it'll be really easy for you to just step outside your door and you're gonna have a lot of playmates for your kids to play with. And you're also gonna see a lot of parks and recreational activities in the neighborhood as well. So let's go for a drive to that neighborhood right now. Let's go to number two on our top five list, Williamsburg. This is also an ideal place for commuters. So let's go in my car right now and uh, check it out. Location wise, Williamsburg actually sits along the Lindy Creek Greenbelt. So that forms sort of a green buffer along the neighborhood that we're headed to. And then along the Heber Down Conservation Area, that's just up north. That's where you're gonna find a lot of nature trails, you can have a picnic, and you can even go fishing and camping on the grounds as well. Now you've also got Highway 412 and the 407. Those are close by, making it easy to hit your 400 series highways. You know, if you're wanting to travel to Toronto or elsewhere in the GTA. But for now, let me flip my phone around and I'll show you what the residential area looks like. So let's go. Welcome to Williamsburg. Like I mentioned, this neighborhood is ideal for families because you've got a more densely populated community. And if you're looking at the population per square kilometer, then Williamsburg actually has 3,322 residents per square kilometer. That's compared to 943 residents per square kilometer in all of Whitby. So that's more than triple. That said, you are going to find a lot more multifamily dwellings in the neighborhood, like towns and semi-detached houses. But again, you also have a lot more homes with kids in the family. So just to throw a few more stats at you that are helpful to know, Williamsburg is in fact, in terms of families with kids at home, they're sitting at 61%. Whereas in the rest of Whitby, only 55% of families have kids at home. So you've got a slightly higher percentage here. You've also got more married couples in this neighborhood, 77% compared to 74 and 71% in Whitby in Ontario. You've also got a slightly younger population, slightly younger, the median age being 38, that's compared to 39 and 40 in Whitby and Ontario. So again, great place for younger families. And you've got a range of, um, of housing styles to choose from. The street that I'm on right now really does have a good mix of singles, semis, and towns. On this side here, you're gonna find your single family detached houses. Take a look. <laughs> so these houses in the last few months have sold for an average of 1.1, 1.2 million dollars. And then on the other side of the street here, like literally just across the street, you've got a good long row 
of townhouses that will likely go for anywhere between $850,000 and a million dollars, depending of course on its size, features and finishes. But of course, again, great variety of uh, housing to choose from. You've got a lot of options available to you. But now let's head on over to the number five spot on our top five list. I wanna take you to the beautiful shores of Lake Ontario and I wanna show you with these lakeside community. We're gonna head down south to the community of Port Whitby. And just so you know, we're gonna pass by an industrial pocket of the city on the way there. Port Whitby is also bordered by parkland and conservation areas to the east and west, which will make for an interesting drive. So let's head on over there right now. I'm excited to show you Whitby's lakeside community. Let's go check it out together. The dominant housing style here in Port Whitby are high-rise condo units. So over the last 12 months, over 80% of real estate sold here has been one and two bedroom condos in buildings just like this one that are overlooking the water. Now, a typical unit in this neighborhood is gonna run you anywhere between five and $600,000. The most recent sale in the neighborhood was in this building it was a one bed, one bath, between five and 600 square feet on the fourth floor that sold for $535,000. So that's quite typical in today's market. You're gonna pay about, or you're looking at around $100 per square foot in terms of pricing. Now, parking was actually included for this unit specifically. And this unit that I'm talking about sold after two days on the market. Now, here's the thing guys, just on that note, the Toronto market, pre-pandemic, you were looking at anywhere between 20 and 25 days on the market for a home to sell. But you guys know that this is a totally different market. And now, if you're looking at a home in Whitby, for example, you're looking at an average of eight days on the market. And homes are selling for anywhere between 10 and 20% over asking and oftentimes even more than that. So the point is it is a tricky market to navigate, especially if you haven't been in this scene for a while. So you wanna make sure as a buyer in the greater Toronto area, that you wanna make sure that you have, you know, that you've spoken with the lender and that you have your mortgage pre-approval in place so that you come in strong with a strong offer as soon as you find a place. You wanna make sure that you wanna be ready to make moves and decisions quick because of the short days on market, competition is quite fierce these days. There are a bunch more buyers than there is inventory. And that's why you've got short days on the market for any given home, because people want to buy a house and they want to buy it now. So if you are one of those people and you are looking to purchase a home in the greater Toronto area, whether it's, you know, whether you're looking in Whitby or elsewhere in the GTA, and whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give me a shout. I'd be happy to help you navigate through that process, beginning to end, everything, making sure that you have your mortgage letters in place. And I'm gonna show you the best homes in the best neighborhoods for you and your family. Give me a shout, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom call down in the description below. I would love to hear from you and make sure that your next move is a smooth and an easy one. Until then, thanks for watching everyone. My name is Rochelle Manguino. I'm your Greater Toronto Area Realtor and I can't wait to see you guys around town.